recording start. <laughs> Can't even type right. What is up, everybody? It's the flying gesture, and wow, I'm I'm doing Morrowind again. Like it's been like two years. I did like all this random stuff in the middle, including Minecraft, which I promised I would never do on my channel, but I did anyway. And here I am playing Morrowind again. Here I am again, and okay, run by you hit caps lock. So here we are, playing Morrowind, and it, the game starts with you arriving, coincidentally, in Morrowind. So, okay, is it, is it, yeah, it's, yeah, I changed the controls, good. So, I don't know if I ever explained any of this game in my old Let's Play. I didn't even watch it before I started doing this. I just, like, haven't seen it in years, and so here we are. Morrowind. So you start by picking your, well, your name first, and then you pick your class. Class? God damn it, I'm just fucking this up left, right, and center. You pick your race. All of these wonderful abilities. I'm going to be a Nord, because... Uh, do I want to be an Imperial? Oh, it's such a tough decision. I'm gonna be a Nord. That actually looks a lot like me. Um, okay, and you know it was weird? If you watch the intro, you see uh, they mentioned that uh, they call the main hero he, but you can, you can be a uh, female if you want. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna forget all of the settings I just did for the face and hair. I don't have that kind of time. Look at that thing. It's a gigantic bug. I hate bugs. Like, if I saw a bug that big in real life, I would just shit my pants. Pants would... Oh, he's already walking away. Pants would be soiled. Absolutely soiled. I would have to go change my pants. I would put on clean pants, and I would have... I would just... I'd be so shocked I'd soil them a second time. My new unsoiled pants. My soilless pants would be soiled, and I'd have to change my pants again. It would be a mess. Anyways, let's talk about Morrowind and the skills and stuff. Um, you pick a specialization. It... I don't actually know what this does. I know somehow it improves these skills, and I'm not sure if it makes it easier to learn them or if it just gives you bonuses to them or something. It's a good thing if most of the skills in your special specialization are the skills you have over here. I do know that. And you pick the skills that you want to have. If you've played Oblivion, you might notice... Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Awesomely, Long Blade and Short Blade are separate. It's one of the few... It's one of the few differences between the two uh, stat systems. Oh, what do we actually want here? Acrobatics, because that's easy to level up. Gotta pick a skill to just dump all your leveling up in. Uh, what did I do last time, actually? <sighs> oh, man. This is a mess. We like security. And we like alchemy. Intelligence and strength is what we like. And then we probably want... 
to have small bonuses to mercantile and speechcraft because that is so useful. And I like illusion. You, this is just like a really random, like, this is a random assortment of skills, pretty much. I mean, these are all things that I like to have, like, a lot, but these are generally not things you pick together. Just because I was born a rebel. Okay, strength and intelligence. I think that's what I want. Okay. You'll see what these skills are used for later on. Description of my class is lol. Okay. I'm looking there because there will be a thing there when he's done talking. And I really want him to be done talking. Okay, that's what we want. See, we had in strength and intelligence before. This gives us bonuses to personality and endurance. That's just what I need. You can pick a different sign. Uh, I should really... I'll just say that most of the... Unless you want to use magic, all the other signs are crap. Like, some of them are good for magic, but if you don't do magic, just pick this one. And alchemy does not really count as magic. Like, it does, but it kind of doesn't at the same time. And so those are pretty decent. Wow, my endurance is really high, but that's good. That's good. Because it'll give me way more health. And they really want me to do these things because they're like 20. But I was born a rebel, so... I'm just not going to do that. <sighs> Man. Intelligence and just... Oh, they really want me to pick... They really want me to pick different stuff for my class, for my race, rather. God damn it. They want me to pick different stuff in my class for my race. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, now I have a stats menu, so that's cool. I picked this up, and it's a description of me. This is a date, 3E. Like, a lot of things, the dates in this game... They're a number than the letter E for era. The dates, the year system in this game... Wow, I just zoom around all of a sudden. Alright, so... Here's the thing. It's an Elder Scrolls game. You can steal absolutely anything you want. People will try and arrest you. I'll show you the one exception to how this works. Right here, in this room, you can pick stuff up, drop it, and then pick it up again, and they don't care. It's no longer stolen. Otherwise, that guy would have run up there and said, Dude, why did you do that, man? I gotta, like, take you to jail now, or you could, like, pay me some money or something. And you can be like, No! No, yes, but, but fuck you, I'm running away. And they'll be like, God, now I have to, like, run after you. And then they'll probably kill you if you do that right away because you're so low level compared to them. So yeah, just grab all the things. Okay, here here we go. This is a weapon. You equip it. And you hit F to ready your weapon. You can hit R to ready your magic. I don't have any magic right now. You, you just take, like, all the stuff in this room. I'm just gonna take all this stuff. Because you can sell... You can take anything and you can sell anything. You can sell anything. And to anything. I'll actually probably talk more about that part much later. And I just walk around holding my knife out. There's a bottle in there. There's a soul gem. Soul gems are cool. Soul gems are mostly worth a lot of money for how much they weigh. Just all this stuff. These are alchemy ingredients. I'm going to be doing like a lot of alchemy and I'll probably show it the first time. But then I'm going to do it like off camera. Because it is really, really boring. Grab your lockpick. Oh my god. My security... What is my security stat? It's only 30. Got a long way to go here. Long way to go. Okay, I now have a map. Coincidentally, I can now jump. I couldn't before. Now, if I wanted to be a real, like, jerk about everything, I could just, like, say, I don't want to do the main story. I'm going to go through this wall. Yeah, like that, and don't do not do that if you actually want to play the game in any meaningful way. 
but you could do it. And then that trick with stealing stuff and setting it back down and never going to jail and all that would still work. And then you talk to this guy and he pretty much tells you that he has no idea what you're actually here for, but the emperor said that you should report to Caius Cosades. He doesn't know why, but that's your mission, man. That's 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 what you do. And oh god damn, I didn't talk about it. in that barrel I found this ring of healing. It's a really shitty ring. And it's this guy's ring and he lost it. There is some bigger story. I don't know. But you give him the ring. And you do that just because. Then you go into the trade house. And how are we doing on time? We got time. We don't really have time. You go into the trade house and suddenly... Oh, wait. Let me show you. Suddenly, look. He loves you. He's like, hey, dude, you're cool. And then you sell stuff to him and it's worth more money. So do that with the ring. The ring sucks. Don't, don't bother with the ring. And I sell him all the stuff that I stole from the for the emperor, from the emperor. And uh, yeah, sell him all the things, all the things that aren't alchemy ingredients, that aren't alchemy ingredients and worth a lot of money, rather. All right, so I picked long blade as one of my skills, so I'm gonna get a long blade. I also picked medium armor. Oh man, I hope I picked medium armor. So I'm gonna get some medium armor. Uh, heavy armor is okay too. Oh yeah, there we go. You hold control to grab things one at a time. And I did security, so I want some security stuff too. Did I do armor? I do know I want some armor. Armorer? Armorer stuff. And some alchemy stuff. And that looks pretty good to me. You can haggle. I just do it because it makes me feel like a real man. I'm too insecure. And so if I don't get a better deal, uh, I feel like I'm losing. Oh, look at me being a badass now. Let me show you. This is, this is alchemy. I'm going to do this a lot, and I'm probably not going to do it a lot on screen, because it's pretty boring. Oh, look at that, my potion failed. Where is... there they are. The main reason that I do this is because you can sell the stuff you make for actually pretty good money. And more importantly, it's a really easy way to level up. See how much fun this is? I can't even think of anything to say. I think of, like, nothing. I look at things and my mind, like, just melts out my ears. All right. So there we go. There we go. We are now prepared, I think. We have stuff. We have, we have actually um, all the stuff we need. I'm going to sell these to that guy. But we are now prepared with the stuff you do in the first town. Unless you want to do some quests in the first town... I don't recommend doing that because they have really piss poor rewards. It just, it sucks. Don't do that. Alright, so we've now prepared and I will begin doing important stuff in the next video. That was a really horrible way to leave this off, but bye!